and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss formation of sample spaces using list, table and tree diagrams when an experiment involves more than one event then the sample space can be described using list table and tree diagram let us suppose we toss a coin and spin a spinning wheel together here coin has two outcomes head and tail and spinner has eight outcomes that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now we'll describe this event of tossing a coin and spinning a wheel together with the help of a list now we we'll list all possible outcomes that is if head comes in tossing a coin and any number can come on spinner so we have outcomes h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 h7 and h8 similarly if tail comes in tossing a coin then again spinner can have any number so possible outcomes are t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 t7 and t8 so sample space would be equal to the set containing elements h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 h7 h8 and t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 t7 and t8 this is the required list next we have table 
Let us form a table for the outcomes. The rows represent the outcomes for the coin that is head and tail and the columns represent the outcomes for the spinner that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now we have written the combination in the table cells corresponding to respective row and column elements. See the shaded cell in the table H5. Here the corresponding row outcome is head and column outcome is 5. So our element for cell is H5 which shows the appearance of 5 on the spinner if a head appears on the coin. So H5 will be the required outcome. Now we are going to discuss tree diagram. The tree diagram starts with one item that branches into two or more each of which branch into two or more and so on It looks like a tree with trunk and multiple branches. Here the first set of branches is the outcome of tossing a coin that is a head or a tail. For each of these outcomes there is a second set of branches representing the outcomes of a spinner that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Each of these representations show there are 16 outcomes. So, with the help of any of the other representations, we can identify all the possible outcomes of the event. Let us take an example. If we want to identify all the outcomes which represent the event, a head and an even number, so, from the sample space, we can find the favorable outcomes for the given event. Our sample space is given by the set containing elements H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, H7, H8, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, T7 and T8. Let event A be equal to getting a head and an even number Here we see that we have four combinations of head and even number. So event A is equal to the set containing elements H2, H4, 
H6, H8. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.